We've conquered some pretty big challenges while travelling the UK on our narrowboat. We've completed the Ponkasukta Aqueduct. Heartbreak Hill. The Cane Hill Flight. Bath's 19 and a half foot deep lock. And the Tidal Thames, just to name a few. And for the past few weeks we've been enjoying floating through Warwick and Leamington Spa without seeing a single lock for miles. But that's all about to change because it's finally time for the huge Hatton Lock flight. 21 locks of intense hill climbing. And we're doing them all in one day. But just before we take on the massive flight, Amy's mum's come to visit with her two dogs, Pippa and Millie, to help us get to the starting line and say goodbye to one. Morning. We are going on a tiny little cruise for about 10 minutes, just budging up to the Saltersford Arm. Hey. My mum's here with her puppies, so this will be fun, their first ever cruise. <laughs> Really nice moorings here opposite the Cape of Good Hope pub. Good internet, pretty good solar, super quiet. They are only 48 hours in the summer. It's been so nice to be able to make use of that for once. Bridge hole and a U-turn. <laughs> Turns out there's some familiar faces down this hill. So we've made it in. We've got our spot. Where's it's just windy, and then and reversing down. And it started raining. There's our spot waiting. Perfect. Nice. Keep going. There. Yeah, there. Where's it's too strong for his own good. I've somehow managed to whack that off. Our mooring pins have never been brand new then. We have put them through their paces, but I just missed the top and whacked the hook off. That'll so, be all right though. Yeah, it's not like there's gonna be boats going past very often. Rufus, what are you doing? Rufus says this is the perfect mooring spot. The Saltersford Canal Centre is an old disused canal arm and it's run by lovely people with great facilities and plenty of history to explore too. It's still a close walk into Warwick, felt super safe and we enjoyed a really lovely few days here. Good morning! Before we go, time to do the facilities. One last trip to the Alston. We've had an amazing stay in the Saltersford Arm and it's so beautiful. Here's what we've been up to while we've been here. We're suddenly on a rowing boat. We've taken a break from the boat to go on a boat. It's a great one. Wow. That's uh, nice. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Worse. Go backwards. <gasps> I'm pulling us round with it. Good, I can't row as good as Wes. Where'd you leave Where it? Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Typical English summer. We've made our own little parasol. <laughs> Oh, they're little mouths. 
off. Yeah. And now it's time to tackle the Hatton flight. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's it's one of the biggest lock flights in the country. I think it's the third. Cane Hill's 29. Tardibig's the biggest one, and I think this one is 21 locks. So I'm having some breakfast. It's gonna be a long day, but I think it'll be alright. The main thing is that they're wide locks and we're going on our own, so hopefully there'll be a boat to share with. If not, it might be a little bit trickier, but we've done it before, we can do it again. Bye, Saltersford Canal Centre. Okay, so we're starting it at 10, 24 a.m. Let's see how long it takes us. Apparently a really good time is about two and a half hours. No, I think that's going down though. Uh, so it takes longer to go up. It's probably going to take us at least three and a half. Pop in the comments how long you think it will take us now and then go back and see if you were right. I'm going to say three and a half hours. I'm going to say four hours and ten. Oh, got not, not got much faith in these arms. No, no, I think there's going to be some sort of shenanigans part way that's going to slow us. Fair enough. This is lock number one and it looks like there's a locky. Looks like there's no boats to share with so far, so we're going up on our own. At least we've got a locky on the first one because they can normally tell you how to keep the boat as steady as possible for that specific lock. Well, this looks promising. Normally, if you've only got the ground paddles and not the gate paddles, it's harder to control the boat. But I think because these ones give out some force, just doing this side has pinned us. So I'm not slamming around, which is normally the worst bit about doing wide locks. So we're able to actually go up quite quickly and we're not banging around, which makes it a lot less stressful. Amy, anyway, this is like the smoothest wide lock ever. Well, I think we're going to be in for a good flight. The lock is brilliant. It's really helpful. He's going to set the next one. And the locks seem pretty smooth, so... Nice, one down, 20 more to go. The Lockie's also walked ahead. I think he's gonna follow us on the whole flight, so the next one's ready to go. And so far, the weather seems good. It all seems like it's, it's going pretty well. I don't wanna to speak too soon. weather today but it is going to be hard work i'm so tired and i don't know how i'm going to have the energy to do this amy why don't you try just drinking an energy drink as we go up no thanks i don't want all of that artificial nastiness in my body well then amy perhaps you'd like to try holy Holy is a really cool company that does a powdered alternative to soft and energy drinks. It's got no nasty stuff in it like sugar, taurine and artificial flavours. They've got three main products that we've been trying. The first is a natural energy drink. The second is a sugar-free iced tea that comes in loads of flavours and trust us, they're all great. And lastly, our favourite, the hydration range that have got electrolytes and minerals in and they're all so tasty. The drinks are quick and easy to prepare. All you do is grab your shaker, Fill it with ice, if you can keep it away from Amy long enough. Pick your type and flavour of drink, we loved this strawberry shark one. Add the powder in, mix it with 500 millilitres of cold water and get shaking. And it's as easy as 
that. You're ready to go. Give this a try. Wow! <sighs> Let's go! <laughs> We're genuinely loving Holy, and if you want to try their starter set with all three types and tons of flavours, scan the QR code or check the link in the description. Thanks Holy for sponsoring this video. of the flight, first set of locks, they're not all joined together so there is actually room to moor in between the pounds. But we're just doing the full 21, all in one go. Oh, one of the boats mod there is some views from New Zealand, so hello if you see this. Or an Anglo-Welsh hire boat that's broken down part way up the flight, a bit of rotten luck. I hope you got it sorted and you had a nice holiday still. nice cruising on a Friday. So if we were to cruise on a Saturday, it'd probably be really busy. We'd be waiting behind a lot of other boats to go up and it would take a lot longer. And while we did think, oh, we won't have a lock buddy if it's quiet, the lock is so good and the locks are so smooth that it's fine. We're making a really good pace, not sweaty. It's a, it's a good day. It's called Ugly Bridge, apparently, got into the lucky. Seems like a harsh name, I think it's a fine bridge. I've just seen Amy point at something in the lock and then go, and then say something to the lucky and now he's on the phone. I don't know what she's seen. It's a dead lamb. Oh. In the water. And Aww. Oh. It's got literally, there's only a little bit of it out in the water, and that bit has got honestly thousands of maggots oh. in a pile like that. Oh. The lucky said to call the environment people to come and get it out, I think. Yeah. That is one of the downsides. You do see that quite often. You can get it out of the way. Otherwise, a boat might squash it and then it will become a lot worse of a problem. Never a dull day on the canals. Sheep safely moved out of the way. Um, we're swapping lock keepers now. He's carrying on on this bottom bit, helping boats down. And we've got, I think, two new lock keepers who are going to help us the rest of the way. Oh yeah. Thank you, likewise. You're nearly there.
mini volunteer on who's come to help with his granddad who is a volunteer and he's doing like a little project about it at school. Oh, he's so nice, isn't he? Yeah. He's doing well as well because these gates are heavy. He's doing the heavy. gates on his own, yeah. It's going well. The luckies are all so great. The locks are pretty smooth. Not too tired. so far there's loads of volunteers helping out everyone's really friendly and good spirits the sun's shining oh. okay so we're nine locks down we're coming up to the bit now that's more like a bit more like cane hill so far the locks have all been like a short walk between each one and now they're kind of one after the other from about here onwards really Slip down one of the sluices at the end of this. My biceps won't fit through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that many lockies on, but the next two locks are going to be set for me so I can just have a little chill while this one fills up. The chill doesn't last long though because the lock's just finished. getting close together now. The worst is yet to come. Wait till you see them all on the hill. Whoa. Whoa, look at all the locks in the distance. into the closer together flight. now and we've been going for two hours and 11 minutes which is actually really quick it was much quicker than I thought and part of that is one just how good these locks are they're very smooth and two just how well run this whole flight is the lock is absolutely brilliant on here having a really good day oh yeah and Amy's smashing it too I guess <laughs> Okay. Well, 
Come on then, ready first, in. Good boy, good boy, in, in. Good boy. Five more to go, I think, if I've managed to keep count. Not bad. Really glad that today's going so well. Touch wood. I didn't sleep very well at all last night. Part of the side effects of having depression is that I have a thing called nightmare disorder as well. I just have really, really horrible dreams. It meant that I didn't sleep very well at all. I woke up in a really sort of low mood, which then made me feel kind of anxious <laughs> about doing this for no reason. So I kind of had everything sort of firing off in here. But today's just been such a good day so far. It's really nice, it's just completely flipped around for the better. It's just such a nice thing about living on a boat. When things go right, it's just so good for your brain. shut rather than open when you come in. There it is, last lock. There we go, heading into the last lock on the Hatton flight, the top lock. Last lock, Amy. Last lock at the deck. There we go, lock number 21. That's in the top lock. Top lock, Amy. Last lock of the day. Last lock of the day. Last lock of the day. Hand in the windlass. Not bad, we've done it in two hours 56, I think. That's really quick. Now it's just time to find a nice mooring and those ice creams are calling my name at the cafe. their engine fixed. They've made it to the top. <laughs> been our day of doing the Hatton flight. That was actually a lot more pleasant than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. The cafe at the end was nice. I really think that the Hatton flight is a 
is a great example of like when something is run well it's so smooth yeah it went really good and yeah. the area is beautiful around here so we're looking forward to a few days just chilling now and it's quiet oh, the trains. <laughs> we don't mind the train noise though that's fine so yeah we're gonna chill thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed us crawling up the Hatton flight then please consider liking and subscribing Thank you again to Holy for getting us up there. Big shout out to the Chip Pals as always and also to all the Lockies that helped us along the way. Check us out on our socials and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Ow.